All right, Pet Man Matt Marsh on Football Insiders. We're back once again. Um, very excited to uh, talk with our uh, inaugural. Um, I, I can't even say that word right. Our offensive MVP <laughs> from the first under the lights camp up at Mountain Island Charter back in September. Um, just an electric, dynamic talent all over the field. I'm um, very excited to talk with him today. That's uh, Sunga Yates of uh, Vance High School. We're going to bring him on with us right now. Hey, how you doing? All right. I'm good, man. I'm good. I appreciate you, you know, coming on here with us and giving us a chance to, you know, kind of showcase you a little bit. Okay. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. So, first of all, I want to give you the chance to kind of describe your strengths as a player on the football field. Um, the type of football I play, I am. Um, my strengths, I, my speed, that's probably my number one strength. My speed, my IQ. I got I got high IQ and my heart. No matter, I'm small on the field, so no matter what, I just go out there and ball. Yeah, and that <laughs> I was just telling you, your highlight film is crazy. We're gonna look at it here in a second, but that's very evident. Everything you say is, you know, definitely displayed on that. Um, so what are you looking for from a college on the next level, ideally? Uh, what I'm looking for is a college who takes my major, a college, college, it's like a family. Like as soon as I step foot on the campus, I feel welcome. Um, straightforward coach. Yeah, that's really what I what I'm looking for in the college. I'm going to. All right. So, what what is your major? My major. I want to be a meteorologist, so I'm gonna study like Earth and Environment and Science and Meteorology. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's awesome, man. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a chance right here just to kind of speak directly to coaches that are looking at this. Why should a college give you an offer and give you a chance to decide if you want to be a part of their university? I think a coach should give me an offer because I'm a very hardworking kid, very coachable, uh, set the right example on and off the field, and I'm a great player. So I think they should really consider an offer. Very good, man. Very good. All right, I'm going to bring in Justin Adams, our player uh, analyst, and we're going to start looking at your film. What's up, Slaw? Right. What's up, Justin? Hey, Justin. What's up, Matt? All right, so let's get your film on here. All right. All right, you guys that are watching this, you're in for a treat because I took a look at this earlier, and my goodness, this is incredible. All right, here we go. All right, so there's a thing, second team, all observer, uh, all conference, uh, specialist of the year, um, all well-deserved. All right, here we go. You should have been first. All team. right, good, great. <laughs> I don't know how he did you like that. All right, so, uh, so take us through this first play right here. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, what you got like a post route right here? No, so this play was this play was four verts, and I really wasn't okay. even supposed to be getting the ball. We was going into halftime. Uh -huh. It was the last. It was the last play before halftime, and I wasn't even supposed to be getting the ball. And it was four verts, cover two. So the safety was out on okay. top of me. So I told the QB before the play, "Don't throw it to me." I told him, "Don't throw it to me." <laughs> throw it to me. And then, so I was running the route. I was just running the route. Then I turned around and uh -huh. I seen the ball coming. So I just threw my hand up there to brace for contact because I thought the safety was gonna hit me. But once I once I yeah. caught the ball and realized he didn't hit me, I knew it was over. <laughs> it was over. <laughs> so the funny thing is, you don't even mention the fact that you make a one hand catch here. I mean, that's amazing enough as it is. But then to shake the tackle, put a spin move on the other corner, and go score. Yeah, I mean, that's once not normal. I knew I was going to score. Oh my goodness. All right, Justin, what are your thoughts on this? Hey, so what were you thinking when the ball came to you? When you saw the ball coming to you, what were you saying? Like, ah, uh, why, why, why? Nah, going to when the ball was coming to me, I was just thinking I got to catch it because I thought okay. the safety was just going to come hit me. So I was just thinking just catch the ball first got you. and then secure. But once he ain't hit me, he yeah. thought, well, looking at the film, he thought it was going to go over me. So I caught it, and then I just made a move on him. 
Got you, man. Well, I'm glad you secured the catch. You know, most people would have, most people would let it go, knowing the safety coming downhill, and you actually made the catch. You braced contact, made a play, and you scored for the team uh, right before halftime. So that was a good play, for sure. All right, let's take a look at this one. Against uh, who's that? Independence. Now that was West Forsyth. Oh, West Forsyth. Okay. All right, Sangha, take us through this one right here. Let me go back to the uh, this play. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, this team was printed. They were whooping us. They was whooping us pretty bad. So they they tried uh -huh. to put their sec. They tried to put their second group in. They tried to put their second okay. group in. Then, who we call all four verse again. And I knew once I got behind mm -hmm. that middle linebacker, he was going to throw me the ball. So I just had to make a move on the safety and bail. Yeah, and then you just break away. I mean, look at this. We got two guys right here that are in great position to make a play on you, and then you just split the gap and go score. I mean, you make one guy miss, and then you just run away from everybody else. Yeah, speed kills. <laughs> For sure. All right, Justin, what do, what do you got on this one? Uh, it was a big play. Like I said, he he knew he, he knew he had the speed on these guys. All he had to do was get behind him and catch the ball and go for six, and that's what he did. So, hey, selfish plan, Toy, right there. Can't really say too much. Yeah. I mean, I like the recognition of the route, too, the way you bet this down, you know, in the middle of the field. Because you see, you got to have good spacing on four verts, and you take yeah. yours, you know, to that opposite hash, and then that creates the spacing you need to get the uh, QB the ball in there. So that's good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep it rolling. Let's see what we got here. All right, special teams. All right, first of all, we know you're a dynamic special teams player. On these kickoffs, man, is it just something natural that you have? Or, I mean, is it something you practice a lot? I mean, what's the secret to all the success you have in the special teams? Man? Nah, it's just really like, it's really, it's, it's really like a sauce. It's like a recipe to, to return a kick for me. I ain't, I ain't gonna say it on here, but it's really a recipe that we're trying to keep the new voice like saucy. <laughs> I feel it. I like that. I like that, man. So this one was against Mallet Creek, so. Yeah, like that game, around. they weren't really like, a lot of teams know not to kick it to me. So that game, they wasn't kicking it to me. They kept kicking it to the other side. Other side. Then my uh -huh. coach switched us last yeah. minute. And then they ain't even see uh -huh. the switch. They kicked it to me and I returned it. Man, uh, you play again, them. making people miss and then just to, just to pull away from everybody's incredible. All right, Justin, go ahead. Hey, he's a, dy a dynamic player, as you can see, man. He He's electric. Once he gets the ball in his hand, he's out. Like I say, uh, he's running through he's running through tackles. You, know you, you can't get him down with the, with one hit or, or arm tackle. You have to actually wrap him up. And like I said, he's a, he's a dynamic player. It's, it's, it's hard to even catch him. So, you know what I'm saying? You can't eat what you can't kill. That's what they should tell me, and they, they can't catch them. Right. All right, so what we got here, Song? I'm like you in the middle of trips right here. Yeah, this, this uh, um, we ran a play call. This is a, this was a play. It was like to make the safety move up with the first cross route, and then I go right mm -hmm. behind, sneak right behind him. Yeah, this is, this is a nasty design right here. I like this. You're yeah, putting pressure on that safety. Yeah. yeah. He just fell for the trick. <laughs> well, plays like this, man, when you put them in a choice, they, they're wrong every time. So if he tries to get depth to play you, then the, your short guy's going to be open. So um, yeah. that's great play design right here. I love this. But then, you know, your natural talent takes over. I mean, the, the guy that's checking you doesn't have a chance. I mean, just to be honest. There's – there's no way. There's no way on this. And then once again, I mean, I like the way you look it in, you catch it, you know, ball's put in a good spot and then you just run away. I mean, even though that guy ends up having an angle on you, you just outrun the angle for the touchdown. Yeah. All right, Justin, go ahead. You got anything? Like I said, it's a guy you got a double coverage, man. You can't just single cover this guy right here because he's going to run right by you. Um. And that's what he did on this play. Yeah. Right, right past the defender. Right past the safety, you know. So all right, look at the bottom. Look at your coach. I mean, good oh. gracious. Yeah, because this play, 
we, this play, we we just came from um we was going in the halftime and we were down. So our coach he was trying to draw some up because the game was tight. He was trying to draw some up so we could get in the end zone. So he draw that was the first play he drawed up because we did that play like last year, my sophomore year. We did that play and worked perfectly. Mm-hmm. So he was like, Do I remember it? So then right after um halftime, we came on defense. That was the first play he called when we got back on offense and we scored. Yeah, that's that's what you want right there as OC, boy. You get fired up on that. That's all right. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, we got Mallard Creek again. Deep ball. Oh, mm-hmm. good gracious. <laughs> what coverage was that? Go back. Man, this, yeah, I, I don't – what in the world? I mean, we just – Justin, you just said you, get, you can't single cover them, but then uh, the nobody covered them. Yeah, <laughs> it was like that play. That play was like a design screen. It was like a screen and go. Ah, uh, so they, they oh, okay. look at the screen. Oh, okay, it's picking gotcha. in the backfield, and then you got yeah, behind them. Okay, gotcha. catch on to it. Yeah, I see it now. Great play design again. But once again, you know, when you're calling plays, you're only as good as the talent that you have. And I mean, this is. You know, impeccable right here. I mean, you get someone that open, you know, good gracious. All right, we're going to keep it rolling on the next yeah, one. So that's, 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 right there. that's just, yeah. yeah, just great talent right there. All right, let's take a look. Let me go back. All right, so what we got here? This empty. Yeah, it was an empty. We was playing Huff this game. We couldn't really score that game. Like it was mm-hmm. really hard for us to score. So we emptied mm-hmm. it. Our coach seen the single coverage. He just told me beat him inside. I told the QB I was gonna beat him inside, so just throw it to him. Yep. Nice touchdown. It's good stuff, man. Justin, you got anything on that one? Yeah, man. It's a nice footwork off the line. You gave him a little move. Yeah. Uh, you already knew he was going inside the whole time. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, it was, it was open. All you had to do was just stick and go. So, and that's what you did. So, single coverage, man. Ain't nobody stopping you in single coverage. So, I don't even know why they even. Yeah. <laughs> the defender that's even that's been the thing, man. That's <laughs> definitely been the thing. All right. You quarterback right here? Yeah, I was at quarterback. I played quarterback that game. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. You were two athletes. Yeah. Oh, touchdown pass. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's take a look at it. So what are we looking at here? So this play, I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm a I can play quarterback, but like me not being an advanced quarterback, I I got like who I'm throwing the ball to before I even say hut. So this play okay. I wasn't even gonna go to that side. I was gonna go to if you can see the the receiver at the bottom of the screen, when I say hut, he didn't even move. That's who I was going to go throw it to. Uh-huh. So once I okay. once he didn't move, I panicked because I didn't know what to do. So I was really finna run. Mm-hmm. Then I seen, I seen uh-huh. Bobo back there, so I just threw it to him. Uh, you're right. He did stand there. Wow. Okay. So did you did you peek at that receiver once you hiked the ball? You said, did yeah, you I, was looking, I was really looking okay. at the corner. I was looking at the corner. I was like, my my receiver better than him, so I'm going to just throw it. God mm-hmm. damn. Yeah. He just went to the second option. Well, I mean, hey, it's a good throw. Made the play. That's tough, man. <laughs> good stuff. All right, now you're in the backfield. Good gracious. <laughs> All right, so what we got here, Sonny? Yeah, right, right. Be going to the back foot really natural to me because that's really my position. I really play running back. Like, I really used to play running back. So it, it wasn't really okay. different to me when they put me in the backfield. I could do it. So <laughs> this was nothing. The hole cleared up, and, the, and it was just easy. Yeah, a little zone play. I mean, just the quickness through the hole is, yeah, man. you know, the biggest thing for me on this. And then good vision because that hole is not that big. Um, let me see. Yep. 
tuck the ball away good. I mean, it's all good right there. Justin, you got anything on that? I could tell that was your natural position. You could tell, like, you just look fluid back there, like, you, like you've been in the backfield before. So, yeah, that, I used to play running back. Then I moved to receiver. Right. But I'll still go back there, like, if, if we need, if I need to. Yeah, definitely. I can see you in a, a certain package for you, you know what I'm saying, when they got your receiver slot. I feel like you can play anything on the field. So, mm -hmm. that's definitely a, a plus for colleges at the next level and coaches that, that can see that. That you could play anywhere on the field. Do you, Sanga? Do you have a position that you like the most? Yeah, I like I like wide receiver the most. Wide receiver, okay. Yeah. All right, so right here, I think we got a little reverse right here. What we got going on? Yeah, it's a little reverse play right here. And then once once I see my block, once I see my blocker chip that one person out, I just know I had to cut it in. Yeah, because you got a good block here from one of your linemen um, right here. I think that was a key block right there, and you cut off of it really well. I know yeah. that play is typically designed to, to stay wide, but, you know, having good vision right there, he's kicking them out wide. So that's a good job right there. Good job. Justin, you got anything on that one? Hey, man, speed kills, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get reversed, you know. All right. And score. Now, I like this. Let's do this one last one because he's going to be on defense, I believe, on this next one. This is against Morrisville. Now, that was you playing corner here? Yeah. Oh, Statesville. Okay. Yeah. You playing corner on this? Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at it. So... Hundred yard pick six. Yeah. God, bro. I mean, I tell you, that's a back breaking play right there when you're the one that throws that pick like that. All right, so what did you see on this? So I that game, I mean, when we was playing them, the receiver, that number 14 receiver they had, he a taller dude. So they see that I was shorter, mm -hmm. so they I, they tried to come to him earlier in the game. They didn't complete it. So he kept, like, calling for the ball. So I guess he got closer. Mm -hmm. He caught for it that time. So I'm knowing it's coming to me. I, I know it's going to come mm -hmm. to me. So I'm just scoping it out. Once I see him release it, I just jumped it. Mm -hmm. and then I, I, I just jumped in and took off. <laughs> and then once, once I seen the quarterback was the last man to beat, I knew it was a touchdown. Uh, yeah, man, that's – Justin, you ever had a 100 yard pick six before? Nah, I never had that. I never had that. <laughs> but then again, I never had the hands like that either. So. <laughs> but now that's a good, that's a good awareness. Problem, that's good awareness on that. Like knowing, knowing where you were on the field, knowing where the quarterback is trying to go to, knowing uh -huh. they were trying to try you, knowing that they, it was a, a taller receiver that they were going to try to attack you. And you just went up and got it and took it back to the crib. So. Hey, man, you're showing that you're a true athlete on both sides of the ball. So that's what, what coaches want to see. That's excellent. Excellent stuff right there. I didn't want to show these next because they're against the you, but we're going to show them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got another kickoff return right here. What we got, Sonya? This is a hard. Yeah. All right, could you repeat that? What school was that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. Hi. Oh, okay. I just wondered. <laughs> so it. once again, you know, the, just the natural ability right here. Yeah, they they like when they was coming down, they wasn't really coming down. Like they were just running down. They weren't really trying to tackle. Me. They were just running straight towards me. So I was like, oh, and then we just came back from halftime. They was up. We just came back from halftime. They was yeah. up seven three. So we had to come. Mm -hmm. We had to come score. And that was really like the spark. That's really what put the game away for us. Now, this one, I thought, I think this one pretty much ended the game, right? This yeah, game this right will put the game away. Yeah. Yeah. But the kid yeah, because I remember we, we uh, yeah, we, I think I named you a player of the game or something for that game because um, yeah, that did, was a big one. Yeah. How many touchdowns you got yeah. there? I had two that game. And the funny thing is, I actually dropped one in the first quarter. I had two, though. 
Okay. Yeah, it's just incredible talent right there. That was good stuff, man. All right, this is another kickoff return. Yeah. It's, uh, it's against West Charlotte. So teams kept kicking it to you the whole year? Yeah, some teams did. Some teams, like, I think some teams were just trying to see if I was really like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some teams, <laughs> teams did. Yeah. I feel that. I mean, we got another one. I mean, this is crazy. This is yeah. against a liver. I mean, my goodness. It was the first play of the game. All right, so, so here's what I'm going to say. My, my thoughts on this, you know, we named you MVP at our camp, um, and there was a big reason for it. You know, I saw your film going into it, and I felt like, you know, I knew you were going to do some special things, and you did. Um I mean, you're one of the best athletes in the 704, for sure. Um, dynamic. Um, you know, you're back, back on defense here again. I mean, you can play all over the field, like Justin said. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it, you you have offers now, right? Yeah, I got some. Okay. Um yeah, hopefully this will open some eyes, you know, to some more colleges because, I mean, I don't know why anyone wouldn't want you, you know, on the next level. I mean, this film is incredible. I mean, I'm just letting it play while we talk. Um, Justin, you got anything else, you know, as far as your final thoughts here? Yeah, man, like you said, man, he's dynamic, dynamic, electric. Uh, he's going to make a play with the ball. And uh, every time he touches the ball, he's going – his goal is to get to the, get the touchdown, and that's what he's going to do. So – I don't see why any school wouldn't want him. Um, played against him and uh, chosen one seven on seven. He got the MVP. He tried to show off a little bit, but it's cool. <laughs> you know, so he uh, he had the, it was the game winning touchdown, right? Yeah, yeah. He ended the camp on the uh, on the, not the uh, seven on seven with the game winning touchdown. So, and that's against professionals. I'm talking about guys that play in the league, guys that still is uh, second year, third year, third year college. So. That just tells you the couple of player he is right there. Just just off of that, just off of that. Uh, like I said, any coach that's looking for a playmaker, this is the guy you want on your team for sure. Amen to that, man. All right, Sanga, man, we appreciate the time and uh, thank you for bringing me on. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much.